We have diversity in the country. We have a lot to offer. Um, we we are richly endowed with the natural resources. Yeah, the wildlife is in plenty. We have the big five that many people want to experience. But in addition to the big five, we also have the two. So we sell ourselves with wildlife as the big five plus the two. The two are the mountain gorillas. The mountain gorillas, if we talk of mountain gorillas, the world population of mountain gorillas is 1,000. But Uganda has more than 50% of the population of the remaining mountain gorillas. And we have the chimpanzees. The chimpanzees, uh, the chimpanzees have been studied for over 50, 50 years and known to be the closest to man, you know, both biologically and socially. So Uganda has a different forest where we have chimpanzees. They are also an endangered species. So uh, that's another unique, you know, uh, wildlife species that you can be able to experience and view in Uganda. We have the culture. Uganda has over 50 tribes with different languages, different foods, different way of dressing, different dancing, different food, you know, so um, when you move around the country, you have this diversity of experience in culture. Um, we have, Uganda is a very accommodating country in that we have uh, various faith. We have, um, we have the Baha'i faith, the only Baha'i temple is in Africa and is only found in Uganda. We have, you know, we have different, the Buddhists, you know, the Jews, we have temples of all kinds, you know. So, again, even with faith, we have the diversity to offer. So, whatever you talk about, there's diversity in everything. And, um, when we go to adventure, you know, we have a number of we have we have a number of things to offer for people who are very adventurous. Lots of activities from mountaineering. Uganda has the highest range mountain in Africa. The Renzori Mountain is right astride the equator with snow on top. It's a block mountain with the ranges, mm -hmm. so the, the the highest range of the, the range mountain is on Renzori in Africa. We have other mountains as well, like Mount Elgon, Mount Kadam. So we have diversity of this as well, and with this, uh, we also have activities. You know, besides hiking, you know, you can do. Uh, you can do zip lining, you can do water rafting, kayaking, and all that. We are positioning ourselves also as the East African destination, and with that, we had the single visa to East Africa, which has helped to draw more numbers to the different East African countries whereby. Uh, the tourists coming into East Africa has looked at that as an advantage. So if I'm going to pay for one visa and then I travel more than one country in East Africa, why not do more than one country? So we have, we would attribute the increase in our arrival numbers partly to that as well. Not, not completely, but we think it has supported the increase in, in our arrival numbers as well. So we have had, I personally have had, you know, some of the visitors I've met, you know, like, yeah, I was coming originally just to Rwanda, now I'm in Uganda. Somebody says, from Uganda, I'm now going to visit Rwanda or Kenya as well. So it is a positive thing.